Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will show how you can use the Sign Server Community Helm Chart to manage Sign Server worker configurations in a way that allows for easy scaling and redundancy. In a previous video, I created two sample workers that uses bundled demo signer key and certificate. I'm going to export all of my Sign Server configurations into a file make some modifications, and then configure Helm to apply my configs at startup. So I will select all my workers and click on the export button, making sure that all the workers I want to export are selected here. And I will also click on include all non-worker related global configurations, which is things like administrator configurations. I'll click on generate and download. And this creates a dump file with all of my sign server worker configurations and the global configurations. This export is unsorted, so I will start by using Vim to sort this file and then save this as workers.properties. So I now have a file here called workers.properties that I can open and uh, modify. And the first thing here is that as the key store containing signer keys and certificates, it's configured to use this bundle DSS 10 key store that comes with sign server. Instead, I want to use a key store that uh, I create. And to do so, I will use my EGBCA instance that I also have running and uh, create a PKCS12 key store with a simple signing key and certificate. And for this purpose, I have a plain, plain signer profile configured. I will do key pair generation by the CA. I will give my signer the common name of my plain signer. I'll use this as my username. And here I have to set a enrollment code password that I know, since this will also be the password for the PKCS12 file. Select download PKCS12. And I now have my plain sign P12 file. So I will start, start by copying this from my downloads folder. To my working folder here and uh, then to make sure that the helm can apply this uh, signer or include this signer key store in my deployments i have to register this as a uh, as a secret so i will run kubectl create secret generic i will call this signer key stores secret and this can be configured to contain more than one signer but here i will just add one file so i'll use the from file option select the key store file that i just created and in the containers it will also be named my plain signer.p12 and then i have to configure my sign server deployment uh, in Helm to add this file in the deployment. So I will go to the repository where we have instructions for how to do so. And the section here that I'm looking for is importing signer key stores into sign server container. So I've already created this uh, secret with my key store and I will use this example configuration block open my sign server.yaml config file and add the configs in here and because all of my signer configurations will be applied at the start i no longer need to actually have a database that sign server is connecting to since all configurations are applied automatically at startup so it can actually run using the ephemeral in memory database uh, without any problem. So that makes uh, makes it so that it's more redundant in that there is no database that all of my sign server instances are connecting to if I deploy more than just one instance. So I'm going to remove all of this here. 
And what you can see here now is that it's setting import key stores true. And it's looking for the secret, which is the name that I use. And it's placing the uh, uh, key stores from the secret at this location in the container. So I'm going to copy this path here, save this, and open my workers.properties, which are my uh, science server configurations. And as this key store path, I will change this. Instead, use this uh, slash mount external and then the file name, which is my plain signer.p12. If I want this uh, key store to be automatically um, unlocked at startup so that we don't need to manually provide the password to this p12 file, we can set this key store password property here. And as we can see, the export masked the password that was for the demo key store file. But I will change this masked value and use the password that I used when creating the plain signer, which was foo123. And one more thing that I need to edit is that the signer worker, worker2 here in this file, it's now referencing a key that was in the demo key store signer 00003. But instead, it should use the common name that I used when creating the key store in EGBCA, which was my plain signer. This is the name of the key entry in the PKCS12 file. With these modifications, everything should be ready so that these uh, settings can be applied to my sign server instance and have everything come up uh, ready. One final thing I need to do before redeploying sign server is to register this workers.properties file as a Kubernetes secret. And we have an example for how to do this in the Git repo. So it's kubectl create secret, workers secret, and then from the file that we want to uh, register. And here I use the workers.properties name, which is the name used in the example. And then we also need to update our sign server.yaml to say that it should import worker properties from this secret. So I'm going to copy these two lines here, modify my sign server.yaml and add these two lines in here. And now everything should be ready for me to redeploy sign server with these updated configurations and have my worker configurations and the key store being imported and applied at startup. So I'm gonna run Helm upgrade sign server on my Helm chart and use the values from signserver.yaml file. And because I removed the configurations for signserver to connect to an external database, it will now start up with the in-memory ephemeral database. And it won't keep anything that was configured previously, but it will be applying these worker configurations at startup instead. So if I now go to my browser and uh, if this is ready deploying, I just refresh this page here. And we can now see that it has a crypto token worker and the plain signer. And if we look at this crypto worker, we can now see that it's using my plain signer key store. So the one that I issued from EGBCA. And that my plain signer is using the my plain signer key from this key store. So if I now go to the sign server client web where I can do a test signing by supplying my signer name which is plain signer and then any kind of test data that I want signed click submit and I get back a signature response from sign server thank you for watching this video and I hope this might be helpful for you to run a redundant sign server cluster and use Kubernetes and Helm features to do so.